Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, welcome to TCM. Up next, our night of 1950s car culture continues with a movie whose title has become a multiplex mainstay over the past decade. From 1955, John Ireland and Dorothy Malone star in The Fast and the Furious. The picture is in no way related to the current crop of Fast and Furious movies. There have been eight of those in all, starring some combination of Vin Diesel, the late Paul Walker, Michelle Rodriguez, Dwayne Johnson, Chris Bridges, Jason Statham, and in three of the eight, I believe, Gal Gadot, currently starring as Wonder Woman, and I think about to be one of the most famous actors in the world. The last four Fast and Furious movies are each among the top 100 movies of all time at the box office. The franchise has earned over $5 billion worldwide. This movie is not that. John Ireland plays Frank Webster. Frank has been convicted of a murder he didn't commit, and he busts out of prison, planning to get out of the country before he could be recaptured. Along the way, he encounters Dorothy Malone, who just happens to be driving a shiny new Jaguar. Initially, she is displeased to have a convict commandeer her car, but things progress from there to include a cross-border car race. The Fast and the Furious was produced by Roger Corman and has the distinction of being the first production made by American International Pictures. The studio would soon emerge as the number one studio for making low-budget pictures and then marketing them for the drive-in crowd for a tidy profit. The company specialized in campy horror films and a slew of teen beach movies. AIP movies usually didn't have much of a plot, but this story is actually an exception. There's plenty to this story and plenty of action, too. The current franchise of Fast and Furious movies, by the way, did not come by their name for free. They paid Roger Corman to license the name. From 1955, co-directed by star John Ireland and Edward Sampson, The Fast and the Furious.